dear colleagues, this is um, another small pupil um, cataract. The nucleus is um, a little harder, leathery one. And I do the staining of the anterior capsule and then um, with the cystotome I break the anterior capsule in order to have the capsular axis done uh, with the grease hover forceps using the 25 gauge uh, forceps it's easy to have uh, good control over the capsular axis and um, to do the capsular axis a little larger than the pupil size and um, that's very important especially in this uh, floppy iris syndrome uh, patients and when you have uh, pupils that's not very well dilated it's always good to develop your skills to be able to do the capsular axis uh, under the iris so to have a larger than the iris capsular axis larger than the pupil capsular axis I'm do some I do some hydro dissection here enlarging the paracentesis to be able to in, come in with the FACO probe and in these cases of a small pupil uh, floppy iris I prefer to do the stop and chop technique I have um, trench here a little bit wider than the, the FACO needle to be able to go uh, with the sleeve inside the, the trench and then uh, using the chopper that uh, notice that I rotate the chopper in order to have uh, as much contact with the nucleus as possible I um, am able to split the two hemi-nucleus down to the posterior plate and a nice crack in the posterior plate uh, will make the surgery easier notice the fact that when I'm separating the pieces I'm not only uh, going lateral ways but a little bit uh, one uh, chopper to going low and the other one the the um, FACO needle go upwards so slide a little bit and in this uh, T-shaped trench I do the X uh, push as I call it so I crisscross the, um, the instruments making up a uh, letter uh, X with them engaging uh, with the FACO probe uh, one side of the the nucleus and then pushing uh, with the chopper on the on the other half uh, crisscrossing the the instrument will make you a letter X and um, you can use this uh, kind of method uh, not only splitting up one hemi nucleus but uh, during the FACO emulsification uh, as you will see in a moment so I'm taking out the half of the other half doing um, a split here and another X move X um, X uh, pushing um, uh, occur there as you saw so you keep the the one part of the nucleus steady with the vacuum from the FACO emulsification and then uh, cross the instrument and with the chopper and push like you see here now push the um, remaining part uh, with the chopper uh, having um, the posterior plate uh, divided all the way through made that uh, FACO emulsification a little bit faster and easier keeping the the 
psycho needle at the middle of the pupil um, and feeding up the pieces with the chopper and continuously chopping the pieces to have a smaller and smaller uh, uh, pieces to taking out emulsified will uh, get you a clear cornea the next day and then using um, irrigation through uh, AC maintainer placed into the main incision I take out the remaining of uh, the cortex injecting the IOL under uh, irrigation from the AC maintainer and uh, pushing that uh, trailing haptic inside the bag also with the, with the injector rotating in the IOL into the position and cleaning up the anterior chamber from the remaining vesicoelastic. Thank you for your attention. I hope we'll help you in our presentation.